Welcome to the 71st Miss World. Please give a huge round of applause for our top four of the 71st Miss World. It's exciting. We're about to announce the top four right now. I'm sure everybody's at the edge of their seats. Oh my God. In the event that the continental winner who becomes the new Miss World, her run and up will take on the continental title. Eight contestants left in the competition. Now, it's time to reveal the four continental winners. The new Miss World Americas and Caribbean and possibly the next Miss World. The other will take the runners-up title. Who's it gonna be? This is the big moment, ladies and gentlemen. The title. Are you ready? Yeah. Who's it gonna be? Brazil or Trinidad and Tobago? Yeah. All right, we have the result. Megan, should I go for it? Yes. Let's do this. The title of Miss World, America and the Caribbean goes to, goes to, goes to Trinidad and Tobago. The nervousness behind me and in front of me. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Africa. One of you will be the new Miss World Africa and possibly the next Miss World. The title of this world, Africa, goes to, who do you think it is? <laughs> All right, whoever it is, you have to say, you go girl, when it happens. All right, and the title of this world, Africa, goes to Botswana. All right, got on two spots left in the top four. This is so exciting. We will now oh move God. on yes. to Miss World Europe. We have Czech Republic and England. Who will it be? One of you will be Miss World Europe and possibly the next Miss World. And that title goes to Miss World Europe is Czech Republic. And again, it's our continent, Megan. It's right. Asia. Asia. It's down to between Lebanon and India. Miss World Asia and Oceania, possibly the next Miss World. It's Miss World Asia and Oceania. It's. Everyone, your top four for Miss World. Ladies and gentlemen, they are brilliant, they are bright, and they seem to have done everything right. They are your top four of Miss World 2024 in all their glory.
All right, I can finally breathe easy now that we have our top four. Well done, ladies. And of course, congratulations are in store for the remaining participants as well. In a lifetime opportunity to pitch to the famous, to the super cool, to the sharpest sharks of Shark Tank India. Miss World and Shark Tank India, it's the collaboration of the year. And now, let's welcome India's most favorite investors, the glamorous faces of India's entrepreneurial Miss World to the Sharks of Shark Tank India. And don't forget, you only have 60 seconds to pitch your purpose. All right, let's start with our first participant, Trinidad and Tobago. All right, you're pitching to the sharks of Shark Tank India as the next Miss World. Give it a shot. Thank you. Namaste, everyone. Sorry, <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> so firstly, when I stand here, I represent 1.4 million people of Trinidad and Tobago. And what I can offer Miss World is the mindset of my people. In India, I know you say, Vasudev Kubansing, Kudam. Sorry, I butchered it. <laughs> but the point is, you say, the world is one family. In Sweet TNT, we say, may every creed and race find an equal place. And so when I, the way I live my life is with that motto, with that mantra. And I believe Miss World has a similar mantra. I believe when you have compassion and understanding for differences, you can really make a difference in the world and work hand in hand to create a bright future. For me, I'm so honored to be here and to share the mindset of TNT because we can truly make a difference. In Sweet Trinidad and Tobago, we acknowledge our similarities, but more importantly, we celebrate our differences. We see the beauty and diversity and we promote inclusion. So I would love to be part of this organization and to do so and work with you all to create a brighter future and a happy world. Thank you so much. Well done, Trinidad and Tobago. You can relax a bit now. Our next participant is looking beautiful tonight. I'm just going to fix your hair a little bit. There you go. All right, now it's your turn to pitch the sharks of Shark Tank India. Thank you and good evening, everyone. I believe that I should be the next Miss World because I am the true essence of beauty with a purpose. For as long as I can remember, I've always used my skills, my passion, my talent, my intellect and my love to uplift the lives of those around me. I've done so through my Genesis project, which levels the playing field for children living in poverty. I use my legal expertise to offer legal solutions to those who cannot afford them. And each and every day I share love and kindness, but most importantly, I love this platform. I love it with my whole heart. And I aspire to see a world where beauty with a purpose is not just a Miss World concept, but where each and every person uses that quality that makes them beautiful to uplift the lives of, the, the lives of those around them. And I know that I can't do it alone. And as Julia Molly says, is it not better to light one candle than to not see in darkness? I aspire to be the driving force that inspires the world to light their own little candles. Thank you. Thank you so much, Botswana. Now let's hear for our next participant, Czech Republic. Turn to pitch why you should be the next Miss World. Good evening, Namaste India, krásný večer Česká republiko. <laughs> Dear Shark Tanks, I want you to imagine one thing. Imagine that you're a child and you have your dreams and your hopes. But as you grow older, your dreams are going further and further away. Now imagine that you are a parent and your child needs to go through the same situation, having a dream but while growing up, the dream is going further and further. And that's because the children doesn't get the proper education to fulfill the dream career. 
As of 2024, it's still a fact that 250 million children are out of the school worldwide. And that's why my lifelong mission is providing quality education to unprivileged children. I believe that education is a fundamental right every child deserves. And I am here to advocate for those children. It's something what I've been doing for a very long time, much before I entered the pageantry. It's something was really close to my heart and what I'll be doing. Either I win or I don't win the Miss World. Thank you so much. <laughs>